Yo guys, welcome to the Street Ghost YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be our first video. Aiden's thought about starting up a little car group slash YouTube channel, so we're going to make it happen, and it's going to be sick. We are basically just got a bunch of 34s we're going to be working on, <laughs> pretty much, and hopefully some other people's cars as well. But today, we are taking the diff. Yo, so we're going to be taking the open diff out of my... R34 sedan and chucking the internals of a LSD that I bought out of a GTS4. Um, so pretty much we're gonna take off the exhaust, uh, take off the diff, and then take out the internals and switch them out for the LSD. Yo, let's get into it. Yo, so a little bit of a backstory on this car. Uh, I picked it up for 10K and it uh, it's actually been manual swapped. It was an auto, 25, DE Neo, um, and, but it's been swapped and it has a 20 de gearbox in it, as you can see. Still got the auto, but yeah. Yo, we're just gonna take the exhaust off from the cat back there so we can get access to the diff and take it out. Yo, just getting the last hanger off and then that's exhaust done. Wasn't actually too bad. Oh, yeah. Whoa. No exhaust, no worries. Not ready? Yeah. Those bolts right here for the drive shaft. Alright, so we're still trying to get the diff off. It's taken a while. Uh, uh, the bolts are just hard as and awkward as to get undone, but it's working slowly. Just getting some of those off and axle bolts. We'll check back in once we've got it out. Last bolt, guys. Last bolt. And then. We just have to do these ones and then drop it. One's out at the back. And try not to break this ground. Which we've managed to do. Which we've managed to do. <laughs> Fiddly ass shit. Oh fuck my sake. We're just using the trolley jacks bars. Yo as a way to get the bolts out because the drive shaft bolts are the worst in the world to do, especially on all cars. Uh, we've got all the bolts out for the diff now. We're just gonna lower it, up front, lower it down from the car. Here we go. I need the pliers first. Oh, pliers first. What ones? Uh, just the long nose ones. Yeah. Long nose. Even vent. Even when it heats up. Can't see it. Look at there. Can't see it. Probably a video coming soon. We're gonna drop the whole subframe from my car and probably Aiden's as well and just restore it, repaint it, make it look nice again. There you go. Clean it up. Yo, Aiden's car is actually in the shop right now because uh, he did a little skid and then <laughs> his car got fucked up by these people. Um, so he's getting like new glass and his roof is getting fixed, but just wait till you see his, his car to look sick. And that will probably be in another video, so. Subscribe, like, and come back for more because we're going to be working on those 34s. You already know. 34 gang. Am I right, Aiden? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and it's out. Only took us an hour. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
looks a bit clay dude. Yeah, my ear wash. Now to clean it up, undo it, take the internals out and chuck the internals from the other diff into this one. And uh, hopefully it works out good. Alright, uh, so now we're just taking the internals out of the open diff. Uh, yeah, get the and then we'll take the internals out of the LSD and we'll switch them around and hopefully we'll get to go. And then chuck the diff back in the car. Then, uh, yo, see how it goes. Yo. Or not. <laughs> or not. That looks very really simple. Oh, yeah. okay. Whoops. Yeah, see these little pieces? Oh, they yeah. Lock in place. So you have to hammer it to get them out. Yeah. Alright, guys, if you're ever taking out a diff internals, <laughs> use this little bit right this here. And on this side as well, right there. Makes it way easier. Probably just come flying out. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there we go. Man. And it has been done. The internals are out. That was low key way easier than expected, holy. Yeah, only problems if you're using the diff. These rings, you gotta keep them on the right side because they're set from factory. And if they get moved out of place, then this whole thing will be out of whack. Oh, yeah. So These things. Gearbox one, put a trim from the diff one. The, the one on both sides? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of them have like one on one side and two on the other side as well. Buzzy. Alright, yo, we're taking off these bolts here so we can change this gear right here to a different one on uh, the other diff which that's what gives you a diff ratio oh yeah Same. by the amount of teeth I would highly recommend buying one of these guns makes, makes life 10 times easier holy shit <laughs> the oh, yeah. before we take the whole thing off. You almost forgot it. <laughs> <be sad. laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's a dodgy dish. No oil. Nah. Oh, that's bad. See a few too many skills. <laughs> Those bolts there, 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 and then we are pretty much good to go. It's a very, very different diff. Yeah. So that works. Make sure you remember your bottom and top bolts for this piece because Which way these go on. Yeah. Because they have different stress loads, so it might stuff up the way it works. And then you're gonna have a broken diff. <laughs> Or just a whiny diff. Whiny diff. Noises. Pretty much we're just putting some old oil on it. Just to lubricate it so there's no metal to metal contact when we put it back together. Do not want to be screwing that back in. Make sure you clean it. Yeah. yeah. See. No, you can see that. What the heck? This thing is good as. Airbed. 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 <laughs> Yo, so the next stage, we just cleaned the bolts up, sprayed some WD-40 on them, 
and then get them wiped with the rag because we're putting Loctite right here on it and and you can't put Loctite on dirty nuts otherwise it's not going to work properly so make sure you clean them and that's why we use the little air blow thing to dry out the threads yeah the yeah so make sure you guys tighten these bolts tight otherwise you're gonna have big big problems and you do not want to be taking a diff out twice i can tell you that with one of these ones <laughs> flying around inside yeah of straight up all right so we're gonna use uh the diff axle hubs from the lsd and put them on the non-LSD housing because since we're changing the internals uh, these things will work differently as well yeah. hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed also you guys are going to want to make sure you keep these bits on the same side as they were originally otherwise that will also cause, cause you problems as well yeah because this piece here connects in with that and if this gets moved over by say one of these, the metal and metal will hit each other and it won't line up properly. And it'll start like destroying the metal just slightly. But eventually yeah. it'll ruin your diff. Clean and lubricate the this piece as well when you put it in. Yeah, so the bearings stay nice and smooth. And don't forget to remember what the bottom bolt is and the top bolt as well. And which way around this piece goes. Doesn't look like it's hitting anything. Very nice. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Sweet. Now, as you can see, when I turn that side, that side turns as well. And it's looking real good. And it's actually looking real tight as well. So that's for me. Next is just to put the gasket back on. Uh, what are we putting on? Uh, like a sealant? JB weld. Yeah. JB gasket weld maker. sealant. Um, let that dry for like an hour or so. And then uh, we'll chuck the diff back in the car. When you've taken off a gasket, it will leave all this shit here. And before you put a new gasket in or use the old one, if it's all good, you have to scrape this shit off, otherwise you're gonna have a problem because it won't work properly. Made Jan put on the gasket. <laughs> Cause it's the worst thing in the world. I'm trying to slowly put it on. <laughs> you gotta oh, go man. on that side and this side, and then you put that gasket in between it. And then you let it sit for an hour, the gasket goes slightly harder, and then you tighten the bolts all the way, and it presses it out, and kind of just seals the whole thing.
go. So now we're just putting the bolts back on, not too tight, just like probably hand tight. Uh, let it dry for an hour and then we'll come back and tighten them up properly. Check out what is going into Aiden's 34 cube. Little sneak peek for some future vids. So we got, oh, name it out, name it out. The uh, white bodyguards, uh, some nice mum goodies in that box. Z2 and front bumper. Uh, semi Z2 and fenders, but they're the short ones. We make carbon fiber air brake ducts. And then cheap little hull tech in the box. Hull tech. And an RMP wheel. Yeah. And some fresh headlights and heavy pumps. Refurbished headlights over here. Yeah. Stay tuned for 34 coupe vids coming up soon. It's gonna be a pretty sick car. It's already pretty sick, so once these fresh parts go on, you guys won't even be ready. Tightening up the bolts extra tight uh, with the rattle gun so they don't come loose. Um, and then we're probably gonna refill the diff up with oil and get putting it back in the car. So let's get it done. Here we go. Yeah, that'd be right here. Oh, that diff is heavy, guys. So we've tightened the bolts up, we've put oil in it, and now we're just gonna jack it up and put it back in, put all the bolts back in, the axle, drive shaft, the speed sensor, and then uh, we'll try fit this exhaust on. If it doesn't fit, we'll just put that one back on, but yeah, let's get it. Sketchy. Bolts back in, and then those ones there, and hopefully not drop it on our heads. <laughs> Yo, watch out! I think it might. And grab like four of the axle bolts. over the top of the disc and the bottom part goes in there just like that screw it up and that'll make sure your diff doesn't fall out when you do a fat skid pretty much <laughs> uh -huh. also dampens the vibrations when you drop the clutch so, round and replace those bolts in there and that should be the diff back in. It's a knob off it to read your speed wrong at first and muck around and eventually work. And if not, just take it back out and clean it. Oh, yeah. All right, yo, we finally got the diff in. Everything's tightened up, drive shaft, everything that supports it, uh, axles. Uh, now we're just gonna chuck on, try chuck on Aiden's old exhaust from his coupe. Hopefully it fits. If it doesn't fit, then obviously just use the one that was already on there. But that's the last stage, and then we've finished our LSD conversion for the 34. Just finished putting the exhaust in, uh, lowered the car. Just in there, exhaust on. Now we're just gonna hope it works. Hey Aiden. Hey yeah, let's just hope it works. Hopefully no red or anything. Yep. Uh, <laughs> should we start it up then? So far, I can't hear any weird noises, but the car isn't moving yet, so we'll see. Uh, the only weird noise is coming from my 
Spidget and the trans because whoever swapped it over forgot to change it and it makes a little bit of a loud noise. <laughs> seems like it's all right seems like it's tight hope you guys enjoyed the lsd diff conversion for the r34 make sure to subscribe to the channel and keep coming back because there's going to be lots more content including this car we got a blue coupe over there that we potentially drift potentially missile. yeah potentially want to make this a drift missile uh plus we got aiden's yellow car which i'll chuck a clip in right now <laughs> um it's actually kind of broken at the moment but but yo that's why you guys gotta watch these videos of us fixing it up and it's gonna be sick so yo ladies follow us on instagram street ghosts